Hello guys, not sure if all of you know, but I have a free repository of Laravel tips on GitHub with currently more than 300 random Laravel tips. Some of them were on this channel, some of them come from my Twitter, some of them are found on Twitter by retweeting someone else. And from time to time I update the tips with adding new ones. And today I want to present the new batch, the new update with 23 new tips. So here's a pull request and I will link that in the description below. So there were 291 tips, now there's 314, so we've reached 300 mark. And in this video, I will randomly pick five tips out of that list, but feel free to browse this pull request or the full repository. So a quick rundown. Tip number one comes from database models and eloquence section, getting the column names. If you ever need to have dynamic column names and you need to get the names of the database, you can get that from Schema Builder with this sentence. Get column listing will return you array of all of those column names. So that's tip number one. And with all of the tips not by myself, there is a link to the original tweet, for example. In this case, it comes from Aaron. So thank you, Aaron, for the tip. Tip number two comes from route model binding with soft deletes. Did you know that you can add with trashed in the route? So your route model binding would still include the soft deleted models. So even if you go to posts one and that one is deleted with deleted at present, it will not throw 404 page, but still return the object. And the author of this tip is Cosme, who is really active on Twitter with Laravel tips. So I suggest you do follow them. Tip number three comes from one of the latest additions to Laravel 8 framework, Laravel 8 branch. It was released, I think it was in Laravel 8.80 or something. So if you have the latest Laravel 8, it will still be there. Route controller. So if you have a few methods within the same controller, instead of repeating controller multiple times here in routes, you can do kind of route group, which is called in a different way, route controller and then group. And then inside your all the routes, individual routes would be shorter. I've used that already on a few projects and it makes a great developer experience. The author of that tip on Twitter is Sanjit, but you can also find that thing, of course, in the official Laravel documentation. And tip number four and tip number five will be both related to scheduled commands. I'm a big fan of scheduled commands. For example, you can send daily emails in app console kernel file. But did you know that you can provide on success and on failure of that command? So if it is successful, for example, log something somewhere, and if it fails, then send a Slack message or email to administrator or something like that. So you may define both of those directly in the scheduler. And then also you can define which environment that command should be launched on. So for example, you want to send the emails only on production and staging, but not on local. And those environments, by the way, come from the .env file. There's app env variable. By default in Laravel, the value is local. But if you upload your project, deploy your project to the live server, you should change that env file there on the server to production or staging and then you can use that in the command scheduler on environment. An author of that tip is Dewey. I feel the need to mention all of those guys on Twitter. And generally, Twitter became much more active in quick tips about Laravel. So that's where I get my inspiration from. So you can follow me at Povilos Corp. I keep retweeting them. And some of those new tips that weren't mentioned on my Laravel tips repository before I add to GitHub as well. If you want to support my free work with GitHub and Twitter and everything, you can subscribe to the yearly membership of my courses, which is currently 31 courses over the years. For Laravel beginners, there's a free course for Laravel 9. And then on top, there are a lot of topics like Vue.js, Inertia, Alpine, Livewire, Refactoring, Eloquent Performance, GraphQL, Queues, and others. So you can get all of that as a part of the yearly membership, which would be your support for this YouTube channel, where I keep pushing free videos daily as much as I can. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.